cheapest ways to fix catalytic converter guide cost and quick fix for catalytic converter whenever you think about getting a catalytic converter fixed there are options for you i will be showing you three cheapest ways to fix catalytic converter in this video and the options include one cleaning the catalytic converter you already have two flushing the catalytic converter and the third way will be to replace the catalytic converter yourself if it is damaged completely Replacing the catalytic converter is by far the most expensive of them all, and if your catalytic converter is totally damaged, then there is nothing much to do beside replacement of the catalytic converter. In this video I am going to cover the above listed cheap ways to fix catalytic converter in the following topics. How to clean the catalytic converter by removing it. How to clean the catalytic converter without removing it. How to change a catalytic converter yourself. Before we get started fully, please take a moment to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, share and like this video to support me. So, let's now begin with first cheapest ways to fix catalytic converter. How to clean the catalytic converter without removing it. Put fuel in a can and use a catalytic converter cleaner. Most of these cleaners only works well with ether gasoline engines or with diesel, while others work on both. Make sure your vehicle's fuel tank has a minimum of 15 liters of fuel. Then pour the amount of the cleaner that's recommended into the fuel tank. Turn on the car engine and drive. As you drive, it will spread the cleaner to clean up the car exhaust system. Note that the cleaner's label will tell you how long you should drive to get the best results. You should drive for about half an hour or as recommended on the cleaner's label till the fuel tank becomes empty. But ensure your engine doesn't overheat. How to clean the catalytic converter by removing it You can deep clean the catalytic converter in case the code is still showing, which can be done by removing it. Your car should be parked on a flat surface, then switch it off, and let it completely cool down. Get the catalytic converter raised using a hydraulic jack and ensure the car is secured on the jack stands. Get the oxygen sensor disconnected with an oxygen sensor wrench. Rub some penetrating oil on the bolts by holding the converter onto the exhaust system. Take off the converter and examine it. Make sure to shake it, and once you hear a loud rattle, then get it replaced. When you find little or no rattle sound, you now should start the cleaning. The inside should be washed and the outside of the catalytic converter cleaned from dirt and debris. Get outlet and inlet pipes power washed. Just mix hot washer and degreaser, and then soak the converter inside this mixed solution for about 1 to 2 hours. Pull it out, rinse and clean it with another water, and allow it to air dry. The converter and the oxygen sensor should be reinstalled. The car should be test drive and then check for the code. How to change a catalytic converter yourself. The next cheapest way to fix catalytic converter is to replace the catalytic converter yourself to save money from the cost of labor. However you will still need to buy a compactable catalytic converter suitable for your car which might range from $400 to $2000 or more depending on your car brand and model. This only will apply if your catalytic converter is bad and cannot be unclogged or flushed and cleaned. Items you will need another to change catalytic converter yourself. To change your car catalytic converter by yourself, here are the needed materials and the steps to follow. A 17mm wrench a 17 mm socket and ratchet a wire brush a jack and stands steps for changing a catalytic converter yourself step 1 lift and secure the vehicle just set the parking brake then block the wheels and lift the vehicle make sure you secure the weight on the jack stands note that you may need to lift your vehicle completely off of the ground to have enough room to work step 2 just remove bolts on the front and rear flanges, your car catalytic converter is bolted in series that is with the rest of the exhaust system. So, when using your wrench and ratchet, ensure to remove the 5 bolts that hold the front and rear flanges together. Then once it is unbolted, it can be taken down. Please note that bolts that are severely rusted may not come loose. This means that a cutting tool, like a hack, saw, may be necessary. Remember that sometimes it is possible to take off rusted bolts by breaking them. You can just tighten them down until they snap. Step 3, just clean surface area of mounting points, rust and debris will cover the front and rear mounting surfaces. So you can use a wire brush to scrub away excess material. When done, it will prepare the surface for new seals and help to ensure a tight fit. Step 4, 
Now install new catalytic converter seals, just put a new set of seals on the catalytic converter. Step 5, now install new bolts and springs, you can now add the 5 mounting bolts to the front and rear flanges. Just ensure to use new hardware. Note that the springs on the front flange are inserted between the flange and the washer. What they do is that they provide tension to keep your exhaust sealed up. After the 5 bolts are tightened down correctly, just lower your vehicle off of the jack stands. Please note that new exhaust seals tend to smoke a little when first heated up. Don't panic if you notice a few little wisps of vapor. What to do after replacing a catalytic converter? After replacing the catalytic converter, just start the car and allow it to idle for a while. Once the engine warms up to normal operating temperature, try bumping the RPMs to around 2500. After that, try holding it for about another 2 minutes and then release the gas. Close the car and allow it to cool completely and later you can drive the car as usual. If you replace the catalytic converter but the check engine light is still on, it is not normal to see the check engine light after you replaced your catalytic converter, however it happens sometime and should clear off on it after a few drives if the cat was installed properly. But if it didn't clear by itself, then it means that the new catalytic converter you installed did not meet the standards of your car manufacturer's EPA requirements for your vehicle which still leaves check engine light on. This happens because the conversion threshold of your car will be lower than what its computer expects. I hope this video was helpful to you, if it was, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel for informative videos like this. I will see you in my next video.